we started thinking about a closed private economy in a table. And in that table, we assumed something about how consumption changes as income changes. We then said, that's really a behavioral assumption about consumers. And we can represent that behavioral assumption in a behavioral equation. We then used that behavioral equation together with an equilibrium equation that came out of the circular flow model to calculate the equilibrium level of GDP. We now want to ask, how would we go about graphing that macroequilibrium? And so we'll start with a graph where we have real GDP or real income on the horizontal axis and purchases on the vertical axis. And we'll begin by graphing that behavioral equation. Now that's just the equation of a line with intercept A and slope B. So all we have to do is graph a line with intercept A and a positive slope B. That gives us our consumption line. It tells us as income increases, how do household purchases or consumption change? But household purchases or consumption isn't the only kind of purchase in our closed private economy. Purchases include consumption and investment. So we have to add investment to that to measure overall purchases. But we've assumed that investment is exogenous. It doesn't change with the level of income in the economy. So to add exogenous investment to this, we just have to shift the line up parallel by the amount of the investment that doesn't change as income changes. When we do that, we just get this higher parallel line and that parallel line now includes both consumption plus investment. So now we have a line that shows us how purchases in the economy change as income increases. Now we want to graph this equation. This equation says that GDP is equal to consumption plus investment. In other words, GDP is equal to purchases. So where in this graph are is y equal to purchases? Well, it's along the 45 degree line. So if I put a 45 degree line into this picture, that line contains all the points where y is equal to purchases. So now we have an equation that represents that equilibrium equation. Any equilibrium in this economy is gonna to have to lie on that 45 degree line. So now we can take our purchases line and add it to this graph. And when we do that, we get a picture that looks something like this. Now we already know that the equilibrium has to lie on that 45 degree line. That's where that equation is satisfied. So the equilibrium then is going to lie at that intersection. And that gives us equilibrium GDP. That's what we calculated when we combined that behavioral equation with the equilibrium equation. We can also see in this picture that there's something that's always going to drive us to that equilibrium GDP. We can start by saying, suppose that GDP was less than that. If GDP is less than that, we could go to that 45 degree line and read off that same quantity on the vertical axis. So this level of GDP can be read off on the vertical axis as this level. That's how much is being produced. But at that income level, consumers and businesses are purchasing this much. In other words, they're purchasing this much more, this vertical distance more than what's being produced. So that's a negative change in inventories. If more is being purchased than what's being produced, then inventories must be falling. And when inventories fall, businesses will increase production. If we started with a GDP above the equilibrium, we could do the same thing. We could go up to the 45 degree line and that would tell us on the vertical axis how much we're producing. But consumers and businesses are only purchasing this much. So now businesses and consumers are purchasing less than what's being produced. So up here, we have a positive change in inventories. In other words, inventories are rising. When inventories rise, 
businesses are going to cut back on production. So we see exactly the same force that we saw in the initial table that we worked with. Rising inventories cause businesses to contract. Falling inventories will cause businesses to expand. And those forces are what lead to this equilibrium level of GDP.